Okay, everybody, I'm back to do another tutorial. This was taught to me by my uh, German grandmother, and this was before there was uh, dyes that you bought, commercial dyes, which also, by the way, contain a lot of chemicals. They did it this way. Uh, this is how they dyed their Easter eggs. Uh, what I did was I bought a small package of these knee-high uh, pantyhose things, and then um, I have two kinds of onion skins. I have uh, brown and I have red. So what I've done, I've already done one completely in brown. I'm going to show you demo the red one, and then I'm going to do another egg of mixed brown and red. Um, and you start with a raw egg. I like this piece because it's got some interesting coloring and marking on it, so that's probably going to transfer to the egg. I seem to remember these turning out sort of like a tie-dye when I, when I made them before, and uh, I'm hoping for that same effect now. So what you're going to do is just take these onions, but really bigger pieces like this is probably work better, but I don't, on the red I don't happen to have any big pieces. But you just want to get the whole egg covered, and maybe some of it overlapping and going different ways and whatnot. And then um, after you've got it completely covered, now I'm going to put it inside of this pantyhose. And be careful. By the way, this is a raw egg. It's going to be cooked right in the onion, onion skins. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that later and get it nice and perfect. And it's going to end up being like this. And, the, and then I'm going to do another one here that's mixed colors. So I'm going to use some red. I'm saving this brown piece for the very outside because it's really nice. Uh, it's a really nice shape and it's going to kind of hold it all together. So I'm just going to try to find some different colors and, and have them moving in different directions. Put this over the top and then I'm going to flip it over and get some red and some brown and red and just stick them in there all different sorts of ways so you're going to have a nice variety of color. And I'm going to use this as my final because I have a nice uh, nice piece there. And then I'm going to also do the same thing and get this in here. And then when I'm done, I'll have three eggs. I'm only doing three today. I'll have three tied up like this, and we'll meet you over at the stove to do the water. Be back in a bit. Okay, and I'm back, and I'm over to the stove. And how I do my boiled eggs is I just start at room temperature. I've got a pan of water, room temperature, and then I just put the eggs in. So they're at room temperature, and they go right into the water at the room temperature. So I can see even that there's a couple little white spots, but I think that that's going to end up being kind of cool in the end. So I'm not going to fuss over it too much. So I've, got, I've tied off the, each end. It's a raw egg covered in onion skins, and I'm going to just put them right in the water. And you do want them to sink. So. And the way that I make hard-boiled eggs is I bring the water to a rolling boil, turn it off, and let it set. And that comes out with the perfect hard boiled egg every time. So I, it's going to come to a nice rolling bowl, boil when it does. I'm just going to turn this heat off and just let the water set till it cools down naturally on the stove. And then you're going to have your perfect hard boiled eggs. So I'll be back in a little bit to show you how they look once they're uh, opened. I can't wait. Be back in a bit. Okay, we're back and uh, the legs came to the boil and then they um, I let them sit on the stove for a while, and uh, then I just ran cold water over them. I'm going to wring out these uh, things. So the way we did it, we did one, we did one brown, one red, and one mixed. I don't know if it's going to even uh, how that's going to turn out because I think the water was sort of all one color. But we'll, let's take a look. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to untie this. Uh, I untied the wrong end. <laughs> untie the end that's open. <laughs> untie the open end. And we're going to get our egg out. It doesn't look too. From here, it looks just white. Maybe it didn't work. Oh, it did work. Okay. Oh. That's pretty cool. So I'm going to set this aside for a minute. Not as, uh, not as much color as I remembered. Um, I remembered it being like really tie-dyed looking, but let's just keep going. Well, th there's some cool effects. Look at that. Um, it's kind of dull, but there's some cool effects on these. Let me rinse that out. Now look at that. It's kind of 
cool tie dye ish experiment around uh, maybe you need to leave them in a little longer but it does give like a, a weird and cool uh, look to these Easter eggs they almost look like they could be like stone or granite you know especially this one yeah, like that so that's really a neat effect okay so there you have it completely organic completely natural colored eggs try it at home onion skin eggs a nice organic alternative for coloring Easter eggs